You might not know the name Terry Bogard, but you better respect it. This upbeat fighter has been around since 1991, longer than most Smash players have been alive. He's the face of the King of Fighters games, the series that inspired Sakurai to make Smash. The dude's upbeat lines and hype voice acting make him one of the best faces in fighting game history. Okay, okay, you probably already learned this stuff when you were frantically googling his name after the Nintendo Direct. What you really want to know is how this guy plays an ultimate. Don't worry, we've got your back with this guide. In this guide, we're going to get you started on your journey to mastering Jeff's deadly brawling arts. Yes, that is the canon name for Terry's fighting style, and yes, it is hilarious and awesome. For a quick overview, Terry Bogard is the newest traditional fighter. That means he's like Ken and Ryu and has lots of special inputs that make his gameplay unique. Terry is a high-risk, high-reward character that can take stocks early and rack up damage quickly. He's also surprisingly heavy and not so great in disadvantage. However, he's got great stats and frame data, which lends to an explosive, hard-punish style of play. To get more in-depth, we're gonna break down three core parts of Terry's kit and use them to explain Terry's general game plan. 1. Special canceling and radical combos. 2. Super fast moves and great neutral. And 3. Super special moves and high-risk, high-reward gameplay. And remember, this is just our intro guide to get you familiar with Terry's play patterns and simple tricks. If you're looking for something more advanced, just check back in later in the week when we'll have an advanced guide up too. If you're looking for something right away, look no further than ProGuides.com. At ProGuides.com, you can find courses from the best like MKLeo and Esam. If you sign up, you can get access to a live coaching platform and character-specific videos too. It's pretty clear that Sakurai had a lot of love for this character because he gets to do things that no one in Smash has ever done before. His biggest and most unique technique of all is special canceling. You can't talk about Terry without talking about special canceling because it's what gives him his dangerous combos and whiff punishes. Special canceling is pretty simple. When you hit an opponent with neutral air, down air, up air, and any grounded normal move outside of dash attack, you can quickly follow up with a special. Basically, the moves end lag gets shortened so you can combo. That means you can cap off a string of normal attacks with a special for big damage and early kills. That might sound difficult, but it's pretty simple. Terry Bogard and King of Fighters taught Sakurai a valuable lesson on accessibility. When he beat the tar out of a much weaker opponent at an arcade, he realized he wanted to make fighting games more fun for experts and casuals alike. Fittingly, Terry is Smash's most accessible traditional fighter. His command inputs have more lenient windows, and he can effectively start combos with just a jab or neutral air. All it takes to use special cancel effectively is inputting a special move while your attack is in progress. You can do this the normal way, using a direction in B, or using Terry's command inputs. Terry's command inputs will lead to more damage though, so you'll want to learn them and build them into your game. Some of Terry's bread and butter cancels come from a simple jab 1 and jab 2. While your jab hits, you buffer the special move and bam, that's a combo. Only it's not totally true. Opponents can SDI out of jab 2, making the special whip. They can't do that if you only do jab 1 though. Right now, down special How are dog? is Terry's favorite follow-up special. It does a lot of damage, hits hard, and puts you away from the opponent so that if they SDI, they still have trouble punishing you. However, jab one into up special Rising tackle. looks guaranteed as long as you drift into your opponent while doing it. This combo does good damage, can kill off the top, puts opponents in a juggle state, and can land you on a platform so it's hard to punish if it whiffs. That's pretty dang good. Jab works better as a whiff punish tool than something to open opponents up. For that, you can go with a well-spaced forward tilt or down tilt. Down tilt shield pokes and can lead to a jab which then leads to one of his specials. Neutral air and up air also net tons of combos. You can turn a falling up air into tons of things at low percents. At high percents, up air into down air is a good way to kill an opponent you've got trapped by the edge of the stage. You can also do great aerial strings with neutral air at low percentages. But be careful opening with an aerial. Terry often needs his jump to recover. If your opponent catches your jump, they might just push you off stage and kill you before you get the chance to scream the names of your moves in their face. We'll get to more of the recovery later. First, let's talk about frame data. One of the scariest things about Terry is his frame data, and how aggressively he shouts, Are you okay? When you ask it like that, I'm not sure that I am. 
Anyways, Terry has a frame 3 jab, frame 4 neutral air, frame 6 down tilt, frame 7 up tilt, frame 8 forward tilt, and honestly, we could sit here listing his quick moves until Nintendo makes my Shirinui family friendly. Just know that this guy has absurdly quick moves, and that makes this neutral game very powerful. For example, most quick neutral airs are good out of shield options because they cover all sides and activate before an opponent can do something. A quick neutral air that can combo is a great out of shield option. If an opponent hits your shield, you can often punish with a short hop neutral air, then fast fall after the hit and follow up, or use a special move depending on the situation. For another example, Terry's fast jab is a great ledge trapping tool. Since it activates frame 3 and since Terry turns around when he uses it, you can use it to catch normal getups or rolls. When you do catch an opponent with the jab, that's a free special too. They're so close to the edge that they really might not be okay after that. Terry can augment his speed using dodge attack. If you press the attack button while spot dodging, you'll buffer dodge attack. That's a modified up tilt that comes out two frames faster, gives the upper half of Terry invincibility, and has more knockback. It's great in general, but particularly good to catch a jumping opponent. On top of speed, Terry also has invincible parts of his hitboxes, so some of his moves could be spaced like a sword character's. The best example is Forward Tilt, which has great range, shield damage, and shield stun. It locks opponents in their shield for a bit and moves them away. Against a lot of the cast, it's free shield damage and pressure. Oh, and you can cancel it into side special. And if your opponent doesn't DI up and away, they may die. Yeah, you know what? They're definitely not okay. Terry's specials also add a lot of value in neutral. His up special is a good out of shield option, especially if you're under a tall platform that can reduce the time you spend falling. Terry's neutral special is a decent ranged option that can help you make an opponent jump, shield, or approach. You can catch that jump with crack shoot. Terry has a unique back special. By inputting B and away, you'll do crack shoot instead of the normal Burnacle. Crack shoot's hitbox is more aerial and better for catching jumps, crossing up, and sometimes recovering. Terry has so many threatening tools in neutral that he can't help but be good at it. He becomes great at neutral when you consider his quick dash speed, which gives him good mobility. That mobility lets him hop out of harm's way, then jump in and whiff punish. With Terry, you want to play a more traditionally grounded style. His kit is full of anti-air tools like dodge attack, up tilt, up smash, and up special, so he's made to punish others for jumping. On the ground, he's just faster and has more useful moves than lots of characters. He'll often win grounded fights if you're spacing your moves right, using quick moves like jab to whiff punish, and following up with specials. His aerials are good, but his air movement and recovery aren't, so fighting in the air is riskier for him. If you lose an air fight badly enough, you could be the one plummeting to your death. That grounded game plan is a big part of our third and final point, Harry's high-risk, high-reward style. Grounded fighters with bad recoveries tend to be high-risk, high-reward. You could look at Little Mac and get a similar idea. Little Mac can kill very early, but he also dies early if he gets trapped off stage. Similarly, Terry can get crazy rewards off of openings, but his bad recovery makes it risky for him to use aerials or position away from center stage. Terry's heavy weight and lack of great landing options also makes him prone to juggling and aerial pressure. However, what really makes Terry high risk, high reward are his super special moves. When Terry reaches 100% or higher, he can input commands to use two iconic moves. Power Gazer! And Bust the Wall! Both of these moves have a lot of value in different ways. Power Geyser is better in neutral, and Buster Wolf is better as a follow-up. Power Geyser lets out a huge hitbox that's pretty fast. It can be punished, so you want to use it at a medium distance with the goal of calling out an opponent's jump. If an opponent jumps towards you as you activate this move, there's a good chance it hits. If they're above 90%, there's a good chance it kills. Buster Wolf is the iconic move every Terry main wants to land. It's flashy, long-reaching, and when it hits, it makes opponents fly off the stage like their geese Howard trying to get into Smash. However, while Buster Wolf is kind of a grab since it does beat Wonder Wing, it doesn't actually beat Shield. That means opponents can easily react to it by shielding. After shielding it, they'll have time to wind up a Smash attack. So, while this move has great range and reward, it's super risky to throw out. 
Now let's talk about how all this fits into Terry's game plan. Since Terry unlocks even more power in neutral at high percents, your goal is to scrap with the opponent on the ground. Since you're high damage and weight, you'll tend to win scrappier matches because you'll live longer and do more damage. Once you're at over 100%, you want to seal their stock quickly. Now that your opponent's feeling pressure to take your stock, you want to use your speed to whiff punish and your anti-air moves to punish their jumps. Between Rage and your Super Specials, you'll do a lot of damage off a few hits and increase your lead. The bigger your lead, the more your opponent feels the need to approach. The more they approach, the more you can stick to your game plan of punishing them for whiffing attacks. The main thing you have to worry about is getting knocked into hard disadvantage. We've already talked about the problem, a bad recovery and landing stage. Now let's talk some solutions. If you get knocked off stage, you want to recover high if possible. You have more options that way, like air dodge, your side specials, and different up special timings. Your forward and back aerials are also pretty good, so you can sometimes box your way back to stage. This is pretty important for Terry, since he'll often get hit out of his up special and into the stage. Magnet hands are when a character uses the recovery at the furthest possible distance from the stage and still snaps onto the ledge. The ledge grab collision box is typically a little larger than your model, and sometimes your special moves hitbox if it has one. Proper spacing will make it seem like you won't quite make it, then you'll suddenly still make it to the ledge. It kinda looks like two magnets coming together. Terry can do this with his up special, and it's crucial he does. Terry's up special has invincibility frames at its start, so it's hard to be early on. But it's totally vulnerable at the end, takes a while to clip to the ledge, and pops Terry's hurt box above the ledge. That makes it super easy for opponents to edge guard. Keep in mind that you can use up special after a side special, but you can't use more than one side special in the air. If you bring all these techniques together and you save your jump, you can make Terry's recovery work. If you don't, you're taking a one-way trip from South Town to Blast Zone City. If you play to your game plan well enough, you might even take stocks before the opponent knocks you off stage. We hope that these tips in this introductory guide to Terry's game plan and style will help you get there. After all, we want to hear that Are you okay? Bust the wall! As much as you do. If you're looking for a little more advanced stuff focusing on combos, getting the command inputs down, and special tricks, then hit that subscribe button and continue to watch all of the content we have planned for you every single day. Seven days a week, new content tech, and ways to improve at Smash. Go ahead and check us out, and we'll see you at the top of the next King of Fighters tournament.